Welcome to Trucks and Tractor Power, featuring the best in MTRA monster truck racing. Today it's the Monster Drags, the Fall Classic Four Wheel Jamboree Nationals from the Indiana State Fairgrounds here in Indianapolis, Indiana. It has turned out to be a great weekend here in the Hoosier Capital at the Indiana State Fairgrounds here in Indianapolis. Abundant sunshine for the 13th and final stop of the Penda Points Championship. Now already the Bigfoot team of Dan Runte and his teammate Eric Meager have locked up one and two in the Points Championship. But still, momentum is very important, just as important in the final race of the season as it is in the first. And here with more on today's competition is Army Armstrong. You know, rhythm or momentum is very important in no matter what sport you're involved in. Monster truck racing is no different. Gary, you're exactly right. And the Bigfoot team, they had that rhythm or momentum at the first of the year, which pushed them through all those wins. But Fred Schaefer with his Dodge came back and quit slow dancing and started rock and rolling and took a win at Indianapolis, Indiana. However, the Bigfoot team decided, we're going to steal a little bit of old Fred's thunder. We're going to protest him. Well, they did protest the Dodge. The Dodge was deemed to be completely legal. So what we had before, if there was such thing as bad blood between this Dodge and Ford rivalry, real bad blood now. Well, taking a look at the uh, qualifying for today's event, Rampage, the Dodge is the fast qualifier. There is Todd Frolic in the near lane. He is the fast qualifier. He'll go up against Black Stallion. And there is Todd out of the Pontoon Beach, Illinois, in the St. Louis area. And he'll be taking on Mike Botters in the Black Stallion. Now, Mike, of course, uh, had been a longtime campaigner on this series. And then he kind of uh, took over as crew chief for his wife, Pam Botters. And now he's out with the Black Stallion 2000. Yeah, his truck, they're actually using for an R&D truck. They're going to experiment on it, find out what works, and take it over to her truck. Meanwhile, the Rampage with a five flat, and he did it, made it really look effortless when he made that run. So Todd advances to round two. The only husband-wife team in the Penda Points Championship, the Vodders, and there is the wife, Pamela, in the boogie van. And she will go up against the executioner. Sam is the uh, eighth fast qualifier here this afternoon. Mark Hall, the executioner, is the fifth fast qualifier. You know, Pam, and, and uh, she's going to be going up against Mark Hall. You know, two privateers. Uh, both of them have really earned their way in this sport. They, they're on the Hall brothers in the far lane have seen to find the right combination. Pam, to be very honest with you, towards the end of the year, seems to have lost this combination. Yeah. And somewhat of an upset there, Army, from round one. Mark Hall, a 5-0-8. So Mark has the momentum going uh, his way. Not so for uh, Pam Botters in the boogie van. And then it's the Stinger against Hercules. Stinger, of course, is Eric Meager. Hercules, Tim Tesmer. Eric Meager already has locked up second in the point standings. Meager and Tesmer are going to be waiting very, very patiently on the starting line because they realize that alcohol motor, the more heat you get in it, the more horsepower it's going to make. So they're not really in a hurry to go racing right now. Okay, now both drivers acknowledge they are going to roll into the lights. Once again, highlights from round one. And again, it was all Eric Meager in the uh, Stinger Ford at five seconds even on the ET. And now there's a look at uh, Paul Schaefer in the Monster Patrol. Round one, the Portage, Indiana veteran went up against the overkill of Kirk Dabney. Kirk, another Hoosier, so a pair of uh, Hoosier drivers in the Hoosier capital competing well, in round one. And Hoosier going to go into the right lane is the name of this game because in our previous race, every win in the race came out of the right lane, and today there's a traffic jam of guys trying to get over there. But the only way to get there is to have a quicker time than the guy you're taking on. Exactly. Got to earn your way to that round. Yeah, exactly. The Monster Patrol against Ooh. Overkill. Tell you what happened there. I know exactly what happened there. He scared that starter into starting that race. Dabney did that. It's an old drag racing trick, and it worked. Congratulations, Kirk. I've had guys do that to me before, but he burped the throttle and spooked the starter. He hit the switch, and the guy went to the other end. And that was the first win from the left lane all weekend. Well, a win is a win is a win. And if you got a whatever. Dan Patrick against Dan Runty. The DD boys are on the line right now. One in a Ford, one in a Chevrolet. And they've been there before many times. Both drivers respect each other. 
Gene Patterson, one-time driver for the Bigfoot team, working with Patrick, lining him up right now. Patterson has two new little baby girls, by the way. I want to congratulate he and his lovely wife. Dan Patrick, a builder of many of the trucks competing here this weekend. Like we say, Patrick Winterton has lined up a major sponsor for next year and feels he'll be able to step up and run with the uh, boys out of Hazelwood. Well, right now it's Factory against Privateer, and Factory would take this round at a 4.89 for Dan Runte. So Bigfoot advances. And there's a look at Fred Schaefer in Barefoot. He won the last outing here at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. You also got to remember, he also had the quickest run. He backed up a 4.64, so the Dodge team is hot at Indy. The gunslinger is Scott Hartsock. And there's Fred Schaefer from Pontoon Beach, Illinois, now third in the Pen to Points Championship. All year long, they hunted, they pecked, they chased. But at Indy, they just changed the tires, and their luck changed with them. They just put the heavier tires on the front. Sometimes would take this yeah. one. Sometimes it's the simplest thing in the world, and that's exactly what happened to these guys. The number's not bad at all, 493 for Schaefer, and he didn't really look like he was leaning on it. So how are the pairings now? Well, the Rampage against the Boogie Van. There's the Executioner against Stinger, Overkill, Bigfoot, and Barefoot Samson. So that will be the pairings coming up in round two. There's a look at Todd Frolick in Rampage, your fast qualifier this afternoon. So we'll come back with more in round two competition at the Indiana State Fairgrounds here on Trucks and Tractor Power. Getting run over with fun and excitement at the Fall Classic Jamboree at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. And right now out there on the show and shine area, let's check in with Army Armstrong. People from all over the country come to the Jamborees to have all kinds of fun. Manufacturers Midway features the latest of everything from the brand new Ford you can buy to all the aftermarket specialties. But still, no Jamboree would be complete unless everybody went cruising. And of course, Army, some folks like to cruise in the tough truck competition. Now, this guy said he always wanted a fiberglass front end on his Jeep. And after this upside down excursion, he might finally get one. Well, the four wheel jamborees are part of the special events performance series featuring a weekend of four wheel fun for the entire family. Visit the manufacturer's Midway or check out the show and shine competition. For more information on these events, contact the Special Events Promotion Company here in Indianapolis, Indiana. And we are set for round two competition. There is Todd Frolick in the Rampage Dodge. And he will go up against Pam Vodder's boogie van. Now you gotta remember, Frolick already has one win this year. Vodder's God love her. She is just doing everything she can just to put a win down. She's in the lane that hasn't done that well. She's having motor problems. It's just. Her luck's has kind of gone gray on her right now. She needs to turn it around. But I guarantee you, Todd's not going to give her an inch because he knows this girl can drill him any time. Both of them going into the lights here. She moved first, it looked like. There was some horsepower, though, yeah. that got it for the Rampage. She was doing her job. She was driving that truck. A 491 is a good number for the Rampage. So the Dodge Boys have found what they've been looking for all year long. That's the ability to get it down the track straight, not to get DQ'd. If you watch the starting line, you notice how the truck settles down in no man's lane. You don't see any big wheelie anymore. It's all four on the ground and going forward. So once again, the Dodge boys are players here at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. Todd moves on. Well, you guys have been telling people all year long, if we can keep the front ends on the ground, we can win races, we can win laps. That's exactly what you're doing. Oh, I mean, we know these Dodges are fast. Um, we got a lot of good sponsors on board. Viper, you know, RCI has been helping us out with our safety equipment. We just got to prove to them we can run the trucks. I think we're doing that right now. And now we take a look at the uh, Stinger with Eric Meager, who will finish second in the Penda Points Championship this season. And he'll take on Mark Hall in the Executioner. And there's a look at Mark Hall. You know, a moment ago in the interview, they were talking about the sponsors and everything. You look at the decal on the side of these vehicles, and all these people help in some way or form for these guys to race. So if you see the, the decal on television and stuff, tell the manufacturers, support the product. You know, that's what makes it work. That's why they support these guys, is for the exposure. So if you see a decal, spend some money with that person. It helps everybody. This is factory backed against privateer. Yeah, but when the light goes green, the finish line doesn't know that. This time it's going to be a close one, but 
Oh. Eric, Eric Meager takes it. It was close through no man's land of 490 for Eric Meager. Hall was right there with him, man. He made a move with that Chevrolet. But what you're going to see in a replay is watch Hall closest to us, how he bounces right here. That's what cost him. The Ford had all four touching, and he was hooking to the other end. Well, that's where the suspension and the chassis will have to work in tandem with horsepower. You need to settle that chassis down and make sure all four wheels are digging into that second group of cars. Exactly right, Gary. So Eric Meager will move on to the semis, and there is a look at Kirk Dabney in the overkill. And Kirk, of course, will have to stage against the big blue Ford. He is the only truck to win out of the left lane all weekend long. We told you earlier how we did it. And he's still up there very grinning ear to ear right now, I guarantee it. Dan Runty knows that Dabney's going to be tough with him. Like I told you, Dabney's an interesting fella. He does custom fabrication. He'll build a lowrider truck for you. He'll build a specialty street truck. He's really big into street trucks and sports trucks. Meanwhile, Dan Runty is a full-time monster truck driver, what he does for a living. Now Dabney, of course, has that left lane. There's the right lane at Bigfoot. Dan Runty won eight straight events this season. And, of course, Lady Luck at that point looked the other way. He's had a terrible run the last three outings. Yeah, but when you know you're going to be national champion, hey, I, you know, if you're going to, I'm already starting to look at color TVs and stuff like that if I'm in his <laughs> shoes. Remember, let's see what Dabney does this time because, like I say, the last time he, he tricked the starter into starting the race when he wanted to. Now, Dan Runty knows the trick, too. He's going to go in slow, I'll guarantee you, in the starting line. He is not, he's going to make the starter think about his truck, not the overkill truck. Well, of course, Dabney's staging a little late. Yeah, there goes. Hey, move with him. We got a race, Gary. Bigfoot. Bigfoot by not quite a length of a truck at a 493. So, Dan Runty will advance to the semis with that 493 as we look again. It was close at the tree, but in no man's land once again, it was all Dan Runty, and the big blue Ford wins by almost a length. So he goes to the semis, and he's with Army Armstrong. Dan, if you're going to win the big one, the last race of the year, this is the one you got to go after, and everybody is coming after you. Yeah, you know, everybody wants this race going out. Pen to point series, the last race, like you said, Army. We're doing everything we can. We're just waiting on this round to see if we get lane choice or not. There is a little lane difference. Truck's working well. We'll just have to wait and see. And what he has to wait to see is what's going to happen between Barefoot and Samson. There was a look at uh, the Samson truck. There's Fred Schaefer in Barefoot. The Dodge against the Chevrolet. Fred Schaefer has been awesome this weekend. Well, you know, like I said, it, it's really interesting. The last race of the year, there are two events running in Indianapolis, and the Dodge boys went back to the basics. They said, let's just move, wait. Let's don't try to outthink ourselves. Let's go back to where we were. Let's find the baseline. And it has worked phenomenally well for them. And what has worked, basically, is putting the heavier tires up in front. Exactly. You know, heavier, reciprocating weight keeps the front of the truck down. And it is Schaefer. Fred Schaefer will move into the semis against the Bigfoot truck. So interesting pairing. We'll have uh, Dodge Ford in one pairing and Dodge Ford in the other. What's so amazing about Schaefer is how the truck settles down. Now, we've seen him at this point in time in other races be so crossed up, he'd be sawing the steering wheel. Today, it's like driving down a Kansas mile of flat highway, Gary. We well, have seen Fred DQ'd on occasion for going out of bounds. He's pulled wheelies all the way through the uh, no man's land, but he has it all hooked up here this weekend at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. Army, you're down there by the uh, Christmas tree. You talk about an exciting finish to the end of the year. These guys have been chasing these pin to points all over the country. They've been following that Christmas tree, but believe me, for three guys, there's not going to be a gift under that tree this year. Only one guy is going to go home the winner. How did it come out? It's real simple. We're down to two Dodges and two Fords. Factory Wars, what we're going to call this one. Who's going to get the present of the Christmas tree? You stay tuned. You're going to find out just like we are. So it'll be uh, the Rampage against Stinger and Bigfoot against Barefoot at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. We're coming back with the semis. Gary Lee and Army Armstrong here at Indianapolis, Indiana for the four-wheel fall classic. And we're down to the semis with a pair of Dodge trucks, a pair of Ford trucks. There is Todd Frolick and Rampage. 
and he goes up against the Stinger Ford with Eric Meager. You know, Gary, one thing interesting here, it's not only a war between manufacturers Dodge and Ford, but you see Firestone and you see Goodyear out here. They want to take a win home with them, so there's a lot of different people involved in this thing. We're talking about the uh, sponsor involvement in the past. Nobody wants to go out of here without a win. Of course, as you mentioned before our break, this would be the uh, the challenge of the factory back teams here this afternoon. Bingo. Detroit's watching this race, I guarantee you. Left lane, the left Whoa. lane. Todd Frolic from the left lane A 482. Frolic makes a move on him and backdoors him out of the left lane all weekend long. That's been a no no. Psychologically, Frolic just thumped this kid. Well, now we take a look at the teammates. Frolic's teammate, Fred Schaefer, barefoot, lane selection, far lane, the right side. And yeah, they just flip flop from what we just saw in the, uh, the big foot forward. We got a race. Gary, we got a race. Barefoot takes a win. And look at this, the quickest ever, a 4.59. The quickest run ever in monster truck racing. We just witnessed it. It will be an all Dodge final here at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. Here's the fastest guy ever, Fred Schaefer. Come here. Fred, when you're hot, you're hot. I'm sorry your crew doesn't get any more excited than this. <laughs> Army, 459, uh, unbelievable. Boy, this Dodge Ram is great. Uh, nobody's ever running four sixes but us, and now, now we have 459. How did, how did you feel when she gave she was giving you hand signals coming up the return road that that's what you were running? I, I knew it was. I knew it had to be good, Army. It's unbelievable. Uh, we're going we're gonna to leave here in third place, Army. We ain't happy with the points, but we are happy with turning the fastest times in monster drug history, and uh, we got something to brag about. Call it the Big Mo, momentum for the Dodge boys as they wrap up this season, head into next year. It's an all Dodge championship round as you look at the Ford contingent they're talking, but they'll be spectators as the Rampage against Barefoot for the championship here at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. It's coming up next. Welcome back to the Indiana State Fairgrounds. We are ready for the final championship event of the 1996 Penda Points Championship Series, and there is the Rampage Dodge against the Barefoot Dodge. You know, all year long, this 96 has been a great year, Gary. This monster truck race, the Penda Point Series, the caliber, everybody stepped up. You, you almost kind of hate to see this thing come to an end. Uh, it's been great going with these guys. It's been great working with you, but right now, when it's all over, this is the run they're going to talk about. And a lot of people think, well, Todd's going to lay down and let his boss win this thing. I don't think that's the case. I think you're going to see one Donnybrook street fight, face slapping race right here between these two guys. And for nothing else, they're going to get back when it's over, pat each other on the back and say, hey, we finally found the combination. I don't think Fred would want his teammate to roll over. He wants the combination. I agree. With you. you know, a moment ago, we noticed all the Ford camp went down and congratulated these guys. You talk about class. Bob Chandler and his crew went down and congratulated these guys on the final. You know, uh, they worked hard. Nobody's given them a thing. And it all comes down to the final race of the year. Looking at the times from the semis, you'd have to give the nod to Fred Schaefer. He went a best ever 4.59. And Todd went at 4.82. Plus, Schaefer's got lane choice and went into the quote unquote good lane, or the better of the two lanes. Hey, Todd moved on him. Todd moved on him. He got him, Gary. I think Todd He got did. him. I think Todd won it. Well, there's a look at Fred Schaefer in barefoot, but I think Todd won this thing. We're waiting to get the official word right now. There it is 4.67. A 4.67. And Fred went a 468. Oh, man, what a way to end the year. Fro the kid moved on him. That's all there is to it. And look at the front end was up. They both were on kill. They had each other in their crosshairs. When they land, we get the winner. Look at the margin of victory. Coming right at you again just by inches. Todd wins it, and he's down with Army. Congratulations on your second win of the year against the boss, and that was a good race. That was a real good race, Army. Um, I knew his truck's a little faster, and he came up and challenged me to a reaction time off the lights, and uh, I think he was a little slow there, and that's, I think that's basically where I got it. I think everybody back home ought to go put a Dodge in their garage, like Fred said now. Everybody needs a Dodge in their garage, Army. 
Well, the final Penda Points Championship showing Bigfoot the winner over Stinger, Barefoot, Rampage, and Executioner. Let's talk now to our seasonal champion. Dan, not exactly the end you were looking for. I know you want to go out in a blaze of glory, but you're going out the national champion. That's got to make you feel good. More wins than anybody else. You and the four teams have literally dominated the sport this year. The Dodgers had a good day today. You can't take that away from them. Yeah, they did. You know, they, they've they run good all year. We come out with, like you said, the Ford team, and i got to give all those, those guys all the credit I can. I mean, they're great. We'll take another championship, give it to Ford, and come back next year. I mean, that's all we can do right now. They had a good day. We had a lot of good days. So we're champions, and... They're coming in behind us. For Army Armstrong, I'm Gary Lee. Thanks for joining us. So long, everybody.